All right, in this next lesson, we're actually going to start with a photograph and then scratch off some of the black to reveal the photograph underneath it. These are examples from my classroom. One of the things that I wanted to point out is you want to scratch in the direction of the feathers or the scales or, you know, like let's go back here and look at this owl. So this person did an outstanding job of scratching in specific directions to create these little layers of the owl and even created like little tiny scratches around the eyes. That's what I'm looking for in this lesson. So let's start by going to, you know, your favorite search engine, Bing, Google, something like that. Type in the name of something. I typically, because we're gonna have a black top, I try to find something really colorful and vibrant. I'm gonna go with a sunflower. Now, if you're here in Google, I like to recommend that students click on tools, come here to usage rights, and go to Creative Commons licenses, and then come here to size and choose large. And that way you'll get a nice big image that is copyright free to work with, or at least not copyright free, but you have the right to do it. So I like this one. This looks kind of nice for me. So I'm gonna right click on it, save image as. I'll throw that just in my downloads folder like we've been working with in the past. And now we'll go to photo P this time. And instead of starting with a blank one, we're gonna to go to file and open. And there's the sunflower. Now we don't have to worry about the gradient layer like we did on the last one. The photograph is gonna be that layer, but we do need a blank layer. So let's add a new blank layer. Let's fill it with black. Now, if you're having a hard time remembering that Alt and Control Backspace to fill, you can come up here to the paint bucket. It's underneath the gradient tool, the paint bucket, and just click once here and that will fill with black. So that's another way to do it. I wanna scratch off the sunflower, but I can't see the sunflower. So the trick to this whole lesson is the opacity. So you just come over here, drop this down to like maybe 80, 85% so I can still see it. Grab your eraser tool, just like we've been doing with the other scratching. Um, I'm going to have my pressure sensitivity for the size. I come over here and I might make my brush a little bit smaller. And now you're just gonna be scratching in the direction of the, in my case, petals. And you can do this in like little tiny scratches, or I like to do this kind of thing in circular scratches. Now, if you do accidentally, whoops, I go over here. You don't have to start from the beginning and just wipe this whole thing out. You can always go to your paintbrush and I'm gonna make my paintbrush a little bit bigger. I'm just gonna paint right over the top of that. I'll have um, opacity turned down. I should have turned that off. Okay, so, you know, like I've got a little sky here. I can just paint that off if I want. And then when you're done, at the end, you're just gonna come back to the opacity of the black layer and turn it back to 100%, and you'll have these beautiful images. 